Welcome to the captivating world of the 1927 film Sunrise. This classic Hollywood masterpiece isn't just a cinematic gem, it's a journey filled with surprising, humorous, and heart-wrenching moments that will keep you glued to the screen. Ever wondered about lesser-known facts or anecdotes that add an extra layer of fascination to this cinematic experience? Or perhaps, which classic Hollywood actor stole the show for you? As you dive into Sunrise, get ready for a roller coaster of emotions and stay tuned for funny, shocking, and sad revelations that await. Now, over to you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this timeless movie? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. So keep watching, engage with us, and let the conversation begin. Sunrise, a landmark silent film released in 1927, left an indelible mark on the world of cinema and popular culture. Directed by German filmmaker F.W. Murnau, the film was a testament to the artistic possibilities of the medium. During its time, Sunrise was met with critical acclaim for its innovative cinematography, emotional depth, and compelling narrative. The impact of Sunrise on popular culture extended beyond the realm of film appreciation. It paved the way for a new era in cinematic storytelling, influencing subsequent generations of filmmakers. The film's groundbreaking use of camera techniques, lighting, and set design became a captivating template for future cinematic endeavors. In the years following its release, Sunrise inspired a wave of artistic experimentation and narrative exploration in the film industry. Filmmakers and storytellers sought to capture the same emotional resonance and visual brilliance that defined Murnau's work. The legacy of Sunrise can be seen in the echoes of its influence on later masterpieces and the evolution of cinematic language. Sunrise's impact also manifested in various spin-offs and adaptations. While not directly spawning sequels, the film's thematic elements and storytelling techniques inspired filmmakers to embark on their own creative journeys. The spirit of Sunrise could be found in the DNA of subsequent films, a testament to its enduring and intriguing influence. Merchandise related to Sunrise became a vibrant expression of its cultural impact. Posters, memorabilia, and collectibles adorned the shelves of cinephiles, serving as tangible reminders of the film's significance. The resonance of Sunrise transcended the silver screen, becoming a symbol of cinematic artistry and storytelling prowess. In conclusion, Sunrise stands as a cinematic masterpiece that transcended its time, leaving an enduring impact on the world of film and popular culture. Its influence, seen in spin-offs, adaptations, and cultural artifacts, continues to captivate audiences and resonate in the annals of cinematic history. The film's legacy is not just a moment in time, but a timeless exploration of the artistic possibilities of storytelling on the silver screen. Sunrise, a cinematic masterpiece from 1927, is filled with memorable moments that have left an indelible mark on the history of film. One standout episode unfolds when the man, consumed by a torrid affair, contemplates a sinister plan to drown his wife during a boat trip. The scene is both haunting and suspenseful as he grapples with his inner demons, creating a tense atmosphere that captivates the audience. Another noteworthy moment occurs when the man and his wife, rekindling their love, embark on a journey to the bustling city. The cinematography vividly captures the couple's emotions as they navigate the urban landscape, creating a mesmerizing tapestry of images that resonate with the complexities of human relationships. The cityscape, with its vibrant lights and diverse characters, becomes a testament to the multifaceted nature of love and redemption. In a particularly intriguing sequence, the couple finds themselves at a lively carnival. The atmosphere is charged with excitement, and the camera skillfully captures the joy and wonderment in their eyes. The carnival, with its captivating sights and sounds, serves as a symbol of the potential for renewal and transformation in their troubled relationship. The film reaches its climax with a stunning conclusion set against the backdrop of a stormy lake. The tempest mirrors the emotional turmoil within the characters as the man faces the consequences of his actions. The scene is a cinematic tour de force, skillfully blending elements of suspense, tragedy, and redemption, leaving an enduring impression on the viewer. Sunrise, with its iconic storytelling and evocative imagery, has etched itself into the annals of cinematic history. Its legacy lies not only in its technical achievements, but also in its ability to resonate with audiences on a profound emotional level. 
The film's enduring charm and universal themes continue to captivate new generations, making it a timeless classic in the world of cinema. The elaborate city street set for Sunrise demanded an unprecedented 200,000 investment, later finding reuse in films like Four Sons to recover costs. F.W. Murnau, known for his aversion to title cards, progressively minimized their use in Sunrise, rendering them virtually non-existent by the film's end. Despite critical acclaim, Sunrise struggled at the box office, prompting the studio to rein in F. Del Murnau creatively for subsequent projects. This shift in direction after the film's lukewarm financial performance marked a turning point in Murnau's career. This information is meticulously sourced from a reputable website, ensuring accuracy and reliability. It sheds light on the significant production cost, Murnau's unique approach to title cards, and the film's financial impact on the director's subsequent work. George O'Brien and Janet Gaynor, stars of the 1927 film, had a unique commitment to director F.W. Murnau. As revealed by Janet Gaynor in Photoplay magazine, they pledged to fulfill any request Murnau made, even in during extended periods in the water during the movie's production. One notable aspect of Sunrise's cinematography was the innovative use of superimpositions. The film employed an in-the-camera technique, capturing one image on the side of the frame, then blocking out the rest to expose the film. After reinserting the exposed film, they would shoot again, creating layered visual effects throughout the film. A distinctive milestone in Sunrise's legacy is its recognition by the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. The film stands as the sole recipient of the Best Picture Award in the category of Artistic Quality of Production. Remarkably, this award was exclusive to the year of Sunrise's release, making it a unique moment in the history of the Academy Awards. These insights, gleaned from a reputable source, provide a nuanced perspective on the actor's commitment, the film's innovative cinematography, and its exceptional recognition by the Academy, a recognition never repeated in subsequent years. The Fox Move Tone system made history with the release of a groundbreaking feature film, A Milestone in Cinema. This film, now part of the National Film Registry since 1989, stands as a testament to its cultural, historical, and aesthetic significance. The Library of Congress recognized its enduring impact in the first year of registry inductions. The city scenes, meticulously crafted on an elaborate set, were a costly but necessary investment for the film's visual narrative. Not shot on location, the set's vastness added to the production's expenses, showcasing a commitment to creating a unique cinematic experience. This cinematic achievement was not without challenges. The actors, George O'Brien and Janet Gaynor, displayed an unparalleled dedication to the director's vision. Their commitment, revealed by Janet Gaynor in Photoplay magazine, included enduring extended periods in the water, highlighting the extraordinary lengths taken during production. The film's innovative cinematography, utilizing superimpositions with an in-camera technique, contributed to its unique visual appeal. Layered effects were achieved by capturing one image on the frame side, then exposing the film. This technique, groundbreaking for its time, added a distinctive layer to the film's storytelling. Recognition came in the form of an exclusive Best Picture Award from the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. A singular moment in the history of the Academy Awards, this accolade was reserved for the year of the film's release, further solidifying its exceptional standing in cinematic history. In summary, the 1927 film, a pioneer in the Fox Moviatone system, earned its place in the National Film Registry for its cultural and historical significance. The film's costly set and unique production choices underscore its commitment to visual storytelling. The dedication of the actors and the innovative cinematography left an indelible mark recognized by the Academy with an exclusive award. All these aspects combined make this film a remarkable piece of cinema history. Janet Gaynor, known for her flowing hair, adopted a rigid wig in the 1927 film to eliminate any hint of allure in her portrayal of the wife. This intentional choice reflects the director's vision and attention to detail, shaping the character's visual identity. In a groundbreaking move, Fox Studio presented its inaugural feature film with a recorded score, marking a significant advancement in cinematic technology. This innovation added a new dimension to the film experience, enhancing the audience's engagement with the narrative. The film's two central characters remain nameless throughout, yet the screenplay and on-set references designate them as Ansas and Indri. 
Remarkably, lip readers claim to discern these names being silently exchanged between the characters, offering an intriguing layer to the storytelling. These insights, drawn from a reliable source, shed light on the deliberate choices made in the film's production. Janet Gaynor's wig, the pioneering use of a recorded score by Fox Studio, and the unnamed yet subtly identified characters contribute to the unique fabric of this cinematic piece. All information has been sourced from a reputable website, ensuring accuracy and reliability. Constructed on Lake Arrowhead shores in California, the village set in the film was meticulously designed by Rochus Gleesa, the production designer. This purpose-built setting played a crucial role in capturing the essence of the man and the wife's life. A setback occurred when the original 35-min negative of the film faced destruction in a fire at the 20th Century Fox storage facility in Little Ferry, New Jersey, on July 9, 1937. Despite this loss, a new negative was created from an existing print, ensuring the film's preservation. Notably, Sunrise marked the debut of German director F. W. Murnau in American cinema. This transition in Murnau's career is a noteworthy aspect of the film's history. In summary, the purpose-built village set, the film Negative's unfortunate fate, and F. W. Murnau's directorial shift to American cinema all contribute to the unique narrative of Sunrise, a film that has withstood challenges to become a piece of cinematic history.